Hi, today I'm going to show you how to add two different images together and different options for aligning them and having them be the same sizes. So I'm just in the demo folder here and I'm going to open up any of these different data sets. For today we're going to use these two, um, but it doesn't really matter which ones you use, uh, the process will be the same. Okay, so I have this data set here. I'm going to turn on some more of my channels. So, I, so you can see what's going on. And then once I open up one data set, I can go into File, Add Image Volume, and then select the second data set that I want to add in. And it's that pyramidal cell. And so it's going to add these two images in together. And as you can see, these images are not the same sizes. The voxel dimensions are different and or the number of pixels in each dimension are different. So <laughs> I can leave these different and just you know move around these different images accordingly so I can adjust like the location of these um, or you know switch this this option here and then say it like frame number two change the position and then grab the ball and arrow and adjust like the location of those in reference to each other so this is maintaining the voxel dimensions that are present in the data sets um, just natively when they were added in together. So these are the actual pixels, you know, from the acquisition. I can adjust that to have these two images be the exact same size. And so they are overlaying each other in um, a desired manner. The way to do that there's two different ways to do that. I'm going to show you both. So you go to edit and then image properties, and I can look at the geometry and the voxel sizes of these two images and make sure and set them to how I want them to be. So set them to be the same. So I can go here for image one and look at the number of pixels that are in each dimension. So it's 256 by 256 by 32. And the voxel sizes are set here. So 0 0.067, 0 0.067, and then a step size of 0.2. I can go then to image two and see how this is different. So I have 255 uh, voxels in, in this data set for image two, the one that's like the red neuron. I can keep that or I can adjust the number of voxel sizes, but you can't do that in this window. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. So if I go back and I want to set the voxel sizes to be the exact same, I can just grab these from here, then go to image one and update that like so. And you'll see that my minimum and maximum, or the maximum rather, is adjusting accordingly. I can set these all to zero so they're laying in the same coordinate plane together. And I don't necessarily want to change my Z step size. This might be something that like you do play around with just to see how it's going to affect what the data is going to look like because that you do have a certain number of Z step sizes. Um, so you might not want to adjust that, um, or you might want to be like careful with how you adjust it. And so then I'll hit OK. And if I turn off these frames, you can see that like the first image that was a lot smaller is now larger and they both are at the same origin location. So the same starting coordinate. So that zero zero location here is um, all going to be the same. But the, it does have a difference in the Z size of the actual image. So this might not be ideal with how these images are aligning correctly. So you still do have the option of adjusting that so that you can al align these um, manually to be where you want them to be on top of each other or in relationship to each other. So these are it's like some options of making it the, the similar size and things like that, but this isn't the only option. So I'll go back to Arena and start over this process to show you another option. So this next option I'm going to go over is when you have different number of pixels 
in each dimension. So if we go back to edit image properties, you can see here that the size is 256 by 256 by 32. So this is the number of pixels that are present. And we're not going to focus so much on the voxel size at this point. I can then go back to the other data set and decide that I want that to be the same number of pixels there. So to do that, I go to edit and then resample 3D. So this lets me adjust the number of pixels and like resample my data. It is really important to know that this is changing your data. It is totally adjusting the, the information here for your voxel sizes. And you can decide if you want to do the fixed ratio of your XYZ or if you want to adjust these independently of each other to make the two data sets match. Um, I already forgot how many <laughs> Z step sizes were in the other data set. So we'll just leave it here um, for now. But this is now adjusted. We'll save this. And then now, um, and then we can then add those two images back together the same way we did it before by doing add image volume. And then this way, there's the same number of pixels in the X and the Y planes. So when they're being added together, it's just a resampled data set though. So let me know if you have any questions, but this is um, in essence how you would add two different captures that have different voxel sizes and number of pixels in the different dimensions um, present. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.